Good day to you folks and welcome back to Malmo. We've got some work to do and to reveal some plans as well for, well, I mean, let's face it, we're in the end cycle now of, of this version of the game. Football Manager 2019 is coming. I'm sure you've you've seen it. If you're watching this kind of video, you've, you'll have definitely heard of the next instalment and you'll probably be looking forward to it almost as much as I am. Already purchased, of course. But we've got a lot to catch up on. Um, you can see today's game. Effectively, this is all about Dinamo Zagreb. We've got to the playoff stage again of the Champions League. And who have we beaten to get there? We've beaten uh, Ventspils, uh, Salihorsk, we're going to ignore that, the first part of that name, and uh, Helsinki, HJK. So we've done okay. Alsvenskan wise, you know, I mean, 21 points clear, zero defeats, one draw. That came uh, against Harkin. You've We've already covered that, but it's it's wins all the way uh, since then. But the squad has seen some overhaul in terms of players wanting to go. Players have gone, and players a couple of players have come in. So let's let's deal with those. There's, there's the squad screen as it is. Let's deal with where. I mean that's dynamics. I saw the arrows and thought that was transfers, but that's dynamics. So let's deal with the, the players that have gone out. Uh, well, let's deal with the players that have come in first. Pettersson. You might be thinking he's a. Well, he's a Malmo player anyway. How could he have? How could he have left? Well, he's left for Manchester United for two and a half million pounds, uh, rising to nearly six. Now, that didn't include a loan back, but in the in the window, you can see down here, two and a half. Where are you? Where are you? Five, rising to nearly six million. He left on the twenty eighth of June and returned on uh, pretty much a month later uh, on a two year loan spell. I think that's quite a decent business. Um, you know it. it He'll get more football for us. He chose Man United out of an absolute host of other dream clubs. He really is the uh, <laughs> the 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 hot property. I mean, he is actually pretty amazing. To have got him in the first year was pretty lucky. And we brought in Alexander Milosevic, uh, Swedish centre-back. Swedish being the absolute key there. We needed a Swedish player. Um, you know, the homegrown rules in Sweden are a little bit restrictive when it comes to actually strengthening your teams, and it's forced the hand a little bit. The The number of players that have gone out, I mean, that's, you know, if you ignore some of the players that don't matter. Uh, Miguel Ricinho has left for Montpellier. I wouldn't have wanted to have sold him, but he, he kicked off about not playing. Uh, we played him, and then he, he we dropped him for one game, and then he kicked off again, saying he wanted to leave because he wasn't in the team. This was after, he, before that one game, he'd already said that he was quite happy with his playing time. So to, effectively, he just wanted to play every game and that's not going to happen. Uh, Lucas Kubler's gone out, 325k, just simply wasn't playing. You know, it's, it, it, there's no point in keeping him around. We made a profit on him, pretty much doubled our money. He did okay in his 12 games, but he never really, never really set the world on fire. Uh, Franz Borsen has gone as well, 23-year-old, again, Swedish centre-half, but he wanted to leave and, and really, is he that good? He's okay. We sold him for 3.1 million. He's gone to Hertha. He probably won't play if at all. He's played in the uh, the Pokal for Hertha so far. Uh, Kevin and Durham, who we hit with, you know, he made two games, two appearances. We've sold to, to Hamburg. Uh, slight profit on him, so that's that's good business. Uh, good chunk of wages out. It, being French, of course, I mean, he's a good player. He's a decent player for us in the squad, but never really going to getting because of those rules and uh bashiru has gone out he wasn't getting game time the Camoran goes to basel for 500k we actually made a loss on him but we didn't make we didn't actually sign him did well in his first season but as we brought in the stronger midfield players he's certainly fallen by the wayside other players who wanted to leave included grich um he, he wanted to join milan but a bid never came in so that didn't happen and other than that i don't think there was really too much going elias lopez was wanted as well. I think he still is, and uh, yeah, some big teams. I think he wanted to go to Sporting, but you know he's, he's here now, so that's where he's going to be. Um, today we're going to deal with the Dinamo Zagreb game. Hopefully, we'll be able to get two legs into into one video. Fingers crossed for a uh, not too huge a highlight uh, filled game. Um, there's a couple of more names on here. Sundgren. These are youth players, effectively. We again because of the Swedish restriction, we have to bring in Swedish players, and and we just don't really. The talent pool out there isn't that strong of players that we can attract. So, yeah, you know, it, it is difficult. And that's another reason for Peterson coming back. But anyway, Champions League action today. The rules don't apply, so we can name the, whoever we want. 
within reason. So I'll see you pitch side for the first leg. Hopefully we'll get both legs done today, as I say, and uh, we can look forward to the draw of the Champions League proper. I'll see you pitch side in just a second. So there are the teams then. It's pretty much full strength for us. Great Shim and Golo in the middle. The back four is Gokhan Ghul, Les Nielsen uh, and Bielik. Up front, Shea Gomez, free scoring Shea Gomez, Strandberg and Hurler. Uh, Shea Gomez, top goal scorer, top assist maker. So absolutely vital to the way we play. Uh, not really a surprise. Like, we do need a win in the first leg. With it being at home, it makes that all the, all the more trickier. It would be disappointing. Obviously, we would knock out qualifiers last time. Um, you know, and if we were to get knocked out in the playoff, it's sort of, that is sort of a drop off in terms of where we've been, but it's still an achievement just to make the Champions League group stages for a team. We did get the coefficient up. It's gone up slightly, but obviously that's for next season. I'm not sure we're going to get to next year. I've got a plan in place for, for the series, but it does sort of matter dependent on whether or not we qualify for the, for the group stages. If we don't, then, you know, I mean, we... I think we would go into the Europa League and that that's an, in itself a different adventure. So yeah, the the, the plan will probably come off regardless. Vinheim now uh, and Hurl, I, I, waffling on. We're making chances, hopefully. Mangala, can he go down the left side to Mitchell Dykes? He's back in the team today after injury. I thought we were going to get there for Gomez, but a blocked effort, I think, from Mangala. Leskovic putting that behind and it'll be a corner that will come to nothing. Vinheim crosses it in and it's headed away. We don't recover the ball. Uh in a dangerous position and that should be the highlight as as it keeps going it's going to cut me off at any second it's just going to cut me cut me off cut me off now there we go uh just before the 10 minute mark then gokhan ghoul picks up this ball in the uh, just inside his own penalty area brings it forward looks inside now for mangala finds dykes on the left swings the ball across to jay gomez tries to thread it thread it, thread it through i mean who's fred no one knows but we thread it through and carlos stramberg collects the ball from hurler wasn't uh, meant for him originally, well it was meant for him originally, he didn't get to him, it got to Hurler who completed the pass that Shea Gomez was looking for there and uh, Stramberg, nice side footy finish and we take an early lead 10 minutes in. Um, yeah, had this been a, t a game against a, a team that we could absolutely walk over and I, I don't think that Ziagreb are, then we probably would have just skipped through this like we did the other ties. I wouldn't have made you, you know, put, put a whole episode up together for a year. Uh, for a 12 nil aggregate win i mean i'll take a 12 nil aggregate win if you're offering me one vinheim swings it across to gritch hurler gritch dykes was looking to uh, get in on that left side he gets there now but has to check mangala Shea gomez andreas vinheim and it's in the back of the net 35 minutes play two goals to the good malmo one foot in the door of the champions league group stages i'm hoping we'll be third seeds but i don't think we will be but you can you can hope and dream, can't you? Um, Gritch, Mangala, uh, Shea Gomez, and you can see there the fullback pushing right on, takes it in off Levakovic, and two 0 Just before half time, now a corner ball and Strambo heads it just over the crossbar. I tell you one thing, I am looking forward to is uh, when we when we do move teams. Obviously, I'm doing Chelsea for the beta of England. Um, yeah, I like Malmo, but white text on a sky blue background is, you know, I, I wear contact lenses. I didn't before, but I do now because of this. Um, so, yeah, good good, good half, boys. Don't know why Jagowski's stressed. I mean, yeah, okay. We tried to, to talk him round. Didn't happen. So, second half, more of the same, please. That'll do nicely. Bielik collects and nothing occurs with that. Oh, corner ball. We, here we go. Vinheim. And it's all everywhere. Lucas Hill, a very easy goal. Strandberg makes it 3-0. And hopefully we start to put enough daylight between ourselves and Zagreb so that the second leg is of uh, little consequence. And, uh, well, we didn't really get any pressure on the corner, but it's headed away. And, yeah, Livakovic is going the wrong way and then palms it into the back of his own net again. That's twice now. Although he is Zagreb's best performer, so fair play. And their first chance, perhaps, Lovren. Not Dejan, but uh, someone else. Absolutely blasts one at goal, and Jagowski does well to, to knock it over the crossbar. And Kvesic crosses from a corner. That's how you deal with it. If there's, you know, put it wide. Of that's how they should have cleared it. Not that I'm, I'm glad they didn't. But uh, let's make a change. 65 minutes in. Dyke's coming back from injury, so we're going to take him off and bring on Exy just on that left side. Give him 25 minutes or so uh, before we look to make any more change. You can see the central midfield players. This is where the 
this system burns out your players it's the central midfield and wing wing back areas that that's where all the running goes on uh, i think what we'll do is we'll bring on ryan gould and hopefully he can continue his fine form when he has been involved speaking of which gold's corner mangala meets it and simple finish in the end you know i mean we've not had to really we've not got out of the second gear i don't think we've just clicked through clicked through the game and very easy no real pressure on this ball for mangala he's able to bring it forward and just side for that into the top corner and that that's a good point i think to make a further change I think what we'll do is we will bring on Petterson for the, just the uh, for that goal scorer Mangala. Um, you know, because we're going for two years, Petterson now it 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 makes it more useful for us to uh, to try and develop him. It's not like a loan play that we've only got for a few more months. So there might be another chance here before the end of the game. Hopefully, we can keep out Zagreb from an away goal. Nielsen's picked up a knock. We that. That's not great. If uh, that's anything serious, probably just a bruised knee or a twisted knee. That happens a lot. Uh, Binaku's cross and Stramberg off the crossbar, Neil. Well, just over the crossbar. I thought it had come back off the bar and was going to be put in. And that's going to mean we're going to have to watch this. I'll cut this out. There's no point uh, unless there's a goal. So we'll just cut this out and we'll get straight to... Uh, I think we will. We'll go straight to, to second leg. So the next thing you'll see will be me messing with the team in just a second. Unless there's a goal, which there won't be. So, yep, so 4 0 on the night. First leg, I handed that over to the assistant. I never, ever do that. So that was, that could have all turned red. Fortunately, it didn't. So dominant win indeed. 4 0. Nielsen is out for 8 to 10 days. A bruised head. I mean, no one wants that, do they? Um, he did that after jumping for a header. I assume there was there was more to it than just jumping for the header because if he's jumped and bruised his head, he's, he's jumping wrong. Um, yeah, so he, he'll probably miss that second leg next week so yeah let's get to that i'll see you pitch side for that second game you obviously get the information from the helsing board game i assume i'm gonna put one out there that uh four to five is a cracking price put your house on it i'll see you pitch side for the zagreb second leg so here we go then folks second leg four nil we lead we uh played helsing borg as i said we were uh, four to five favorites for the game we won 4-0 i told you to put the house on it and i hope you did the first team goes out there hansi kadunic is in play that's simply because of nielsen's injury so he's not fit to to join back in today lopez returns to that we rotated basically so lopez didn't play vinheim played instead uh the midfield didn't play that's quite a, quite a quite fresh great and mangala in came gold and etebo and they did rather well so it's it's good really um ah uh, i don't know how that would confuse Grinch that we want to uh, get a win going because we want to keep the run going i don't know I, i'm not sure what's confusing about that statement but something got to him there um we managed to talk them around though so we've gone all green and that's good and hopefully we can get something today and get through at least at least we're in our home colors um, although i was quite hoping we'd be in the black but that's that's not the case today as uh uh, inside a few minutes now dykes goes long for hurler if we get an away goal it's game over isn't it really jay gomez just wide of the post didn't really get strike that with as much much control as he perhaps would have liked nothing's really happening 24 minutes in a throw in breaks down for zagreb and we come away with it now here's jay gomez on this right side uh, has to check and well i mean there's audacious and then there's gomez so you know i can't blame the boy he's got a lot of goals this year but he's not scored one from that range yet so he's, he's trying charlie adam tactics and uh, just uh, 10 minutes to go to the break bielik heads down and we manage jay gomez that's more his range you know four yards out that's you've got far more chance of scoring from there than than where you were in the in that last opportunity bielik heads down and jay gomez taps home 5-0 on aggregate and away goal and there's more action to be seen here we go uh, straight from kickoff uh, Kvesic Fjolic it's like going through the uh, periodic table when you play Zagreb no offense to anyone with an itch name it's uh, I'm trying to think of there's only really a few chemical symbols actually that have ick on the end as Hurler and Stramberg uh, any resistance is now gone we should be through to the Champions League group stages the draws tomorrow can't wait for that um the plan I think we can talk about it now now we're definitely there the plan really is because obviously the beta for Football Manager 2019 is is pretty much upon us we want to get straight into that we don't want to be 
finishing this and everything, any crossover really. So what we'll do is we're going to try to cover three of the Champions League group stage games in one video, the next three in another, and hopefully any knockout games will form single videos after that. So it should mean that we're pretty much bringing this series to a close in the next few days, next week or so. We won't go any further than this season. This will be the last season with Malmo, which has been three glorious seasons. Um, I would have liked to have done more, um, but it's, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, it's, it's, again, it's a team that I'm now a, a fan of. I follow on, on the Twitter. Uh, if you're not following me, I knock it wide, then do follow me. But I follow Malmo now. Um, same way I've you always take a big big interest in the clubs that you you sort of invest in and again it, you know it's not been a long series in terms of of time we spent with Malmo but it, it, you know you, you feel the attachment as we bring the ball away Elias Lopez I love the players that we brought into the club we've really made us as a bit of a galactico of Sweden Jay Gomez crosses Strandberg's there easy finish 3-0 on the night seven goals to the good on aggregate um, I'm sure you feel the same about a lot of the saves you've done or even saves that you've watched other people play. Uh, let me know who your FM love. Is there any teams that you've fallen in love with because of who you've managed them on? Championship manager or football manager? You know, there's a few for me. Uh, this is certainly one of them. And as I say, I would like to have done more than more than three seasons. See how far we could really get them as Mitchell Dykes shows why he's the best left back in the world. Uh, drilling that one under the goalkeeper and uh four nil to the good at this point we we'll watch that one back but yeah you know it as i say it is what it is and and the game that time has beaten us that that's so that's very central strike actually goalkeeper probably should have saved it but uh there you go um yeah time's beaten us with the the upcoming football manager 2019 as uh well tongo dumbia pulls one back for zagreb probably too little too late with 35 minutes or so to play not the greatest defending from us and we never really got for that second ball, did we? And then Dumbia, he struck it through a crowd and uh, Dragoski probably unsighted. We'll, we'll let him have one. Let's make a change there. Mitchell Dykes is literally, literally that second just picked up an odd Exe will come on for him. And I think we're going to bring on Rangord for Mangala. Um, Gold did well in that game against Helsingborg. And we're going to bring on Vinheim uh, for... Lopez, just to keep ourselves fresh. Obviously, the game is over, effectively. Uh, Binaki's throwing finds Strandberg and uh, Vinheim. Well, the man we've just brought on gets a goal, makes it 9 1 on the aggregate. Uh, 5 0. We've actually done better here than we did in uh, Malmo, which is a little bit odd. Interesting that Vinheim finds himself so far forward, but that's that's the beauty of these wing backs. You know, they know when to get forward and when to score goals, and both Vinheim and Dykes scoring today. Goals cross, sees it over, and that should be the game. Um, we've made the group stages again, three years, three out of three, which is a big tick for us. The board have never expected more than that. I assume, uh, you know, as we progressed, as we became stronger and, and richer, um, the coefficient obviously, you know, the board would start to expect stronger performances in the Champions League. But as it is, they're quite happy with with our displays uh you can see they've reached the playoff and that's been achieved we've gone through to the group stage which will be drawn tomorrow join me for it in just a second i'll see you in a moment hi folks welcome back to the draw uh sadly we're four c's but we're very close you can see uh, 42.808 is our uh rating 46.199 moscow so we're not far off i feel one more good year and we'd have broken into that third seed bracket uh it is then quite a jump probably to, to start making it into that second seed group but over time the the aim the hope was always that we'd end up with the eighth best you know league in europe and therefore we'd get a, a straight in you can see how how high our qualification rating is compared to Rostov uh, the Russian champions for some reason I don't know how Rostov have managed it but there we go um, let's get some teams out then so Rostov obviously the team you'd want to face out of all of those and more besides so let's see who joins them in the second round in, in the second round of draw yeah that's right Liverpool uh, again so you know out of all the teams there you'd probably say that's the group that you'd want uh, groups that you don't want <laughs> probably all the others Leon, not not terrifying. So this is where we come into it now. So where will we go? Not into Group A. We could go into Porto, Arsenal, and Milan. We don't. Ghent, Juventus, Shakhtar, Ajax, Valencia, Real, Dortmund, Kiev, and Malmo. So it's trips to Spain, Germany, and the Ukraine. 
that is a big ask to finish second uh, or higher in that group but we get a chance to face off against Real Madrid uh, let's finish the groups off and let's just continue on to sort out the fixtures they'll file into our calendar as we go handed a tough group of course we have you can see all the games have been rearranged and there are our Champions League fixtures and so we start at home we faced uh, Kiev at the Svedbank before two away trips and then wrapping up with Dortmund Kiev and then Madrid at home so realistically we we would hope to have if we're going to qualify from the group we would hope to have done so before we face Real at home because it's not going to happen then so yeah what we'll be doing is we'll be coming back for the Kiev game and that will be then be hopefully a three game episode which will cover Kiev Real and Dortmund before then the next episode after that will feature Dortmund Kiev and then Madrid um who knows what will happen then we may go straight through to Champions League knockouts as I say that'll form one episode the two-legged affair and the same if we manage to stay if we if third would be great so if we finish third then we'll go into the Europa League knockout stages and that'll form the next episode after that if we go straight out and finish bottom another plan will will come up because that'll be the end of that that's the end of the season so there won't be any more Malmo to play so we'll deal with that as and when it comes but do pop a like on there for me and subscribe if you haven't already for far more football manager content coming very soon i look forward to seeing you on the next video for the first of the uh, the two champions league group stage wrap-ups and i'll see you then take care and goodbye <laughs>